the things I wanted to make sure that you can see is Skype for Business is super easy to create a meeting just with one click. So you click the new Skype meeting button at the top and up pops a Outlook meeting request that is already populated with your Skype meeting information right there. Now, at this point, all I need to do is add my team members. So I'm gonna add June Min, I'm gonna add Katie, and I'm gonna give it a subject, and the subject in this is gonna be status report review. And at that point, I'm gonna make sure that I got the timing right, and it's for today, but I wanna make sure that I'm later in the day so I'm gonna make it for one o'clock, it's a 30 minute meeting, and I'm just gonna send it off. Now at this point, this meeting is already on their calendar, but it is also set that when they go into their Skype for Business client, they're gonna be able to go to the meetings tab like I showed before, and as you can see, the Skype for Business meeting for status report review is now populated in there. So one of the things for me is I can just double click and join the meeting. However, I need to make sure that both Jun Min and Katie know this meeting is there. So one of the things that I want to be able to do is I am with both of them really quick, make sure that they get into the conference call. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open a meeting with Jun Min, and then I'm going to drag Katie into that IM window, and it actually makes it a conversation with the three of us. At this point, they're both getting IMs and we're having a three-way conversation in instant message. Jun Min responded saying, not a problem, he's gonna be in there, so let's just make sure that we all jump into that meeting right away. I'll come in, I'll double click. And at this point, there's two participants in the meeting. I'm gonna show you, it's Jun Min, but I can always check my participant list by clicking on these three people up top. This shows me the ability to see who's in the call, what their status is, are they muted, are they adding voice, is their video coming or are they screen sharing? This is important with meeting controls and I'll get into this a little bit more later on. But the key piece for me right now is we happen to notice that Katie's not in the call. So I can come down here under invite more people and actually type in Katie's name, add her to the meeting just by adding her name in and clicking okay. At this point, she'll receive a prompt to join the meeting and in she is. I'm gonna start up my video and hopefully that'll encourage them to start their video as well. Hey, thanks Katie, thanks Junmin. It's sure. great to see your faces, your, your bright and smiley faces are making my day.